Welcome to this video titled Installing the New Boundary Client with Policy Commander. In this video we're going to take a look at the various settings that can be configured on the client and the different ways you can deploy the client. But before we start I want to explain how the New Boundary Client communicates with the Policy Commander server and why there are two polling settings. In this PowerPoint I have the Policy Commander software installed on my server and the New Boundary Client on my workstation. Once the client is installed, the server and the client will communicate via TCP IP. Now I mentioned before that the new boundary client has two polling intervals. The first being the server poll. This poll has three main functions. The first is to check to see if there are any policies that have been assigned to the computer. The second is to transport any applicable policy to that client workstation. The third is to update the policy commander server with regards to the compliancy status of the client computer. The second poll is the enforcement poll and as its name suggests it ensures that the client computer is always in a compliant state. This poll unlike the server poll generates no network traffic as it's not communicating with the policy commander server. The enforcement of a policy or a group of policies happens independently of the network and the policy commander server, so it's great at keeping those mobile users in check. 